guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today it is time for some much needed cleaning and decluttering and just like It is now February. We finally made it through January, the longest year of the year. It felt like all of January has been picking up from Christmas and trying to get a little bit of our order restored. January is probably one of the biggest organizing months of the year, at least for our house. If you guys have been following along in our journey, then you know that we moved into our house a, like, like about a year and a half ago. And then we had a baby not too long after that. And when we moved into this house, we had a lot of work that we wanted to do and we've been slowly doing that. Problem is like, I changed my mind a lot. So I get like one area the way that I want it and that like kind of makes us realize that we don't like the other area and everything feels like a little bit of a domino effect. We've been here for a while. We actually still have some rooms that have boxes from when we moved here. Today I wanted to film a little bit of the process though and I'm starting with organizing this closet downstairs and hopefully this area as well. What happens over here is things like build up from projects that we do and again most of this my fault. I have a project and it's just like easy to leave the tools out and things just kind of accumulate. Or they're like odds and ends that are easy to put away but there's so many and they all happen to be in different locations. It just isn't the top priority because I'm watching the girls and I've got other things I'm trying to get done. Today both of the girls are napping. I'm gonna try and do like a power hour if I have that at least go through this closet. Like I said, the whole house is a domino effect, so I have other areas that I'm trying to clean up right now, but I can't get those areas organized until I get this baby cleaned out because a lot of that stuff needs to go into here, and there's no room in here. So let's take a look at what we're working with in the closet. It's not like as bad as you would expect. The problem is like we don't use any of these coats. They've almost never touched. Half of this is gonna be donated. Up here, these are two boxes that we placed here, we moved in. These were never supposed to be in this closet. That's just where they landed and then things have been thrown into them. Yeah, you don't even want it. Down here is an old end table that we don't need anymore. I'm gonna sell that, list it on Facebook Marketplace, and then be able to organize the girls' kind of craft supplies up here so that when we're doing things downstairs, they're easy to grab and they're actually in the area that we need them to be in. So I'm gonna start by just taking everything out and going through stuff. Like I said, I'm just wanting like a more minimal area. I want clean surfaces. I found that our surfaces in our house, every surface in our house gets cluttered up so easily. And that's because things have never been like fully organized since moving into our house. So it bothers me the most. Nothing has its like place yet. Some things do, but a lot of things don't. Let's see what we can do. This is a great start. pretty easy to clear out need a vacuum in there now <laughs> but now that I'm seeing the walls in here I want to paint this desperately but I don't have the time at all today actually I think it would be awesome to do like a wallpaper back there but I do not have the time today I'm telling myself that I just need to go out through all of this stuff let's just stay on track for now this is the problem that I have <laughs> trash this is donate um, these are things that are Nick's that I know he'll want to keep knickknacks <laughs> craft supplies that go up in the closet already or things that we might need like our manual door vacuum my diploma next up it's time to tackle this coat situation Still, I feel like my arm 
Hammer holds a little tight. So I have gotten it down to, I'm donating this guy. The coat's back in here, two for me, two for Nick, and um, extra hangers, of course, if people come over. But we also have like hooks over here. Charlie's like later jacket. And these kind of raincoat the jackets that the girls use most often stay out here because they always hang them up when they're done wearing them. Winter coats stay in the car because we just throw them on if they're actually gonna be outside, so they just stay in the car. This now can figure everything that's been shoved into this little shelf out. Right now I'm at a stopping point. She's clean, she's a little bit more organized. I'm at a stopping point because I can hear Charlie. She woke up as soon as I was vacuuming. I'm gonna take this stuff over to Goodwill, throw out the trash, see what we're left with, start listing things on Facebook, and then decide if we have time to paint the walls or whatever in there. All right, it is a thrilling Friday night. I've decided to do, put a coat of paint, at least on the bottom, because this is a, I know what you're thinking, Krista. This is a closet, no one's gonna see it. Well, that means I can experiment even more in there because no one's gonna see it. I have a fun idea that I just saw on Pinterest that I'm gonna try and do in the closet now. So I'm gonna throw a quick coat of white paint that we already had under, um, just like under the bottom part of it here. So I'm gonna take all this stuff back out, um, call it the bottom parts, and then I will show you what I'm gonna do. Here's a coat of paint. World's better just by cleaning up the edges. Next day now, just got back from Michael's where I got this little baby, if this gives you an idea of what I'm gonna attempt in the back here. If not, here's a photo of my inspiration. I actually have a laser level out to see if maybe that will help me, but I think I'm just gonna kind of freehand it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's a closet. Are you ready? Yes. Aye, aye, Captain. I gotta hear you. Aye, aye, this. Captain. What? This. What? Whoa. Emmy found my laser level. Yeah. Woohoo. Play this. We're not going to play with it. Can you go put it on the table and see if we're all level? Put it down on the table. Is it level? Yeah, it's level. So level. Okay, guys. It is now Monday morning and I just finished the closet, so we're gonna do a little bit of a reveal. First, a little reveal of the floor area as it is now picked up and clean. The girls have their coats over here. Uh, nothing around as you guys see in the entryway. Just one more thing to sell on Facebook Marketplace, but um, as a total, I sold one, two, three items yesterday, giving me a profit of, I think about 30, 40 bucks on this project. Without further ado, Sharpie paint pen that I used in black. I spent about $2.50 on it at Michael's after a coupon. I already had the paint and all the supplies left over from other things in our house. So this project cost me $2.50, but technically I sold several things that were in here and made about $30, $40. So I'm on the plus side for cleaning the closet out somehow. I do want to say if you are a perfectionist, the hand drawn method is not for you because it is no way perfect, but I think it looks really cute and it's super easy to paint over if it ever gets old. Minus the coat that Nick is wearing right now and my light jacket. These are the coats that I've kind of 
arrow down to this closet, which I love. On the top row is just a basket of hats and gloves. I kind of want to switch out the basket, but this is something we had, so it's not really necessary right now. Those are the girls' supplies. I might swap around how those are organized as I figure out the rest of their organization for their stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this basket in here, but it's just the girls' extra books that I tend to swap out downstairs in their little like book area over there. So for now, that's where it is. And this is what we've got going on. Next up would just be to replace the hardware on the store. And we've got a nice cute little entry closet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little declutter slash makeover, what? mini makeover, be sure to hit subscribe, like this what? video, and come back because I have a lot to declutter in this house. This was merely the first step. So if you wanna see that, I think I'm gonna make it a weekly, maybe not weekly, that's pushing it, a, a bi-weekly thing on my channel, something like that. Um, thank you guys so much. Head over to my Instagram and follow me along there where you can leave comments and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye.